Hey YouTube, it's Penny. I'm going to bring you a dream that I had on November 21st. I uh, dreamt that my nephew, Ryan, who is college age now, but in the dream he was about two years old, and he was running around my husband's office in diapers. You know, um, he seemed a little old for diapers, but that's, that's how I saw him. And uh, while I wasn't looking or paying attention to him, he had gone around the office and removed all of the phone keys and stacked them upside down in a pile uh, alongside some extension cords and electrical chargers and other things that he found at the empty desks. Um, so the, the phones in the office uh, that I saw looked something like this. So when I discovered what he'd done, I started to spank him, like I went to spank him you know, for misbehaving, um, but he had a look of fear on his face, and I, uh, you know, he was realizing that he was about to be punished for what he'd done, and at that point I realized that a spanking was too harsh, um, because he was just behaving childish, um, and no real harm was done, so instead, I took his, his little hands in my face, <laughs> and I reassured him, I said, Ryan, I love you, um, but... I told him what he'd done was not okay. So I actually took his little hand and, and slapped it. Um, not hard enough, you know, to even make him cry, but just enough to get across, you know, my disappointment in his behavior. And then I told him that we needed to put everything back just as he had found it because um, Uncle David uses those phone keys for his business. Um, and then I woke up. So the name Ryan means little king, which is what we are. Um, sometimes we misbehave and sometimes it's, you know, sometimes it's willful disobedience and sometimes it's just being childish or foolish. So um, either way, I believe that the Spirit was showing me a picture of these verses. Proverbs 3, 11 and 12, my son, despise not the chastening of Yahuwah, neither be weary of his correction. For whom Yahuwah loves, he corrects, even as a father, the son in whom he delights. Deuteronomy 8, 5 through 6 says, You shall also consider in your heart that as a man chastens his son, so Yahuwah your Elohim chastens you. Therefore you shall keep the commandments of Yahuwah your Elohim to walk in his ways and to fear him. Hebrews 12, 5 through 11 says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which, which speaks unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of Yahuwah, nor faint when you are rebuked of him. For whom Yahuwah loves, he chastens, and scourges every son whom he receives. If ye endure chastening, Elohim deals with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chastens not? But if ye be without chastisement, wherefore all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he, meaning the Father, um, for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now, no chastening for the present seems to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. So, recognize um, just as I was chastening little Ryan in this dream um, when the father chastens you don't resist it and recognize it's because he loves you and um, I always used to say I don't want to be a learning disabled Christian <laughs> meaning if there's something that I'm being disciplined for that the father is needing to correct me I want to learn my lesson sooner or later so that I don't remain um, in that place that I can move on from faith to faith. Barukata Adonai Eloheinu Molech Ka'olam Blessed are you, our Lord God, King of the Universe. Amen.